What's up everybody, Yogi here. Today we are going to be talking about the new Evo Heroes and that's coming to Blazing. And to answer the question that a lot of you probably have on your mind, yes, he is going to be a free-to-play character. It says right here, Heroes will be attainable through an event. It starts this week for sure on JP, but no precise date is currently available. We don't know if it's going to come to Global or not at the same time, but you know, hey, that, now we know. He's part of this new event that was mentioned all together right here plus a new special multiplayer mission is on its way for the 25 million download campaign so gonna be um doing a review on him giving my honest thoughts on him shout out to norris blazing for posting all the leaks and then anton labs for the translation on him now um funny enough or sadly enough i see people already trying to say oh great he got shafted and they're saying this before they knew he was a special unit type of thing Maybe they were thinking he was emergency mission. Maybe they thought he was normal banner. But to say that he got shafted is absolutely ridiculous. Like, considering what he is, a free-to-play unit, he's very, very good. So we got him being a long-range body unit. Max pilled. He's going to have 1,500 HP, 1,460 attack. Kind of on the low side, not going to lie. Field skill reduces Jutsu ceiling chance. And not that big of a deal. Buddy skill is a 20% damage reduction. That is a very good buddy skill because it's universal. Then you have his Jutsu and Ultimate 510 Chakra. That's okay with me. 3.7 times attack and body damage to all enemies in range. 60% chance of attack reduction for four turns. His ultimate is 15. I'm sorry, 12.5 to one enemy. 70% chance of attack reduction for six turns and or mobilization for two turns and knocks them back. Okay. His uh, PvP stats, this is the main thing why I thought he was emergency mission, because it's just so it's just so bad. Like speed pills, he's okay speed, but attack and HP, blah, it's bad. Um, the only thing that's different here is it's seconds instead of turns. You shouldn't be trying to use him in PvP anyway. And then um, all of his abilities are 30% extra damage to all the types, making him a universal damager. And then his... Like, skill he's still going to be doing, uh, you know, weaker damage too, just because he's weak against that type, but it's still more than most body types can do under regular attacks, stuff like that. So he sinks with body for 20% juice of seal resistance, and then sinks with bleed for a 75 extra attack. Now, out of all this stuff here, one of the main reasons that makes him a good unit is Max Duped, he is a 28 and under cost unit. The hitboxes, I mean, aren't that good. It's single target for his ultimate, which isn't that big of a deal, but it is a straight shot across the map, and it's going to be hard to hit some bosses in certain situations with that. It could have been a large circle on the you know, right side of the map while he's on the left side. That would have made it easier to hit you know, your target, but whatever. And his juice is just a small circle. You know, it's not that, it's not that uh, good range-wise. I can actually show you guys. So um, let me go back. That's his hitbox on his jutsu, mid range circle. Um, by the hit count, it looks like you need to hit him three, like hit three enemies to get chakra, and then his ultimate right there. Pretty cool for what it is. I mean, it's simple. It's it's nice. It's clean. That's like that's what I'll say about it. You know. Um. So yeah, whatever is gonna be in this new mode, definitely worth grinding him out. You know, to get him to uh, max duped, 9 luck or not, it's up to you. But um, for sure, grab at least one if you're a newer player and you can handle whatever this new multiplayer mission is. Grab at least two because he is 28 under cost and he does some serious damage. Um, but, you know, let's do the best thing here, which is calculate it. Like, I can say he does good damage all day, but if we don't calculate it, what's the point? So we're going to take his attack with the pills. Multiply at times 30, so that's 30% of uh, the boost. You know, that's how much attack boost he gets from these skills. So 438 extra attack, meaning that he actually has this much normal attack. So that's how much he's going to be doing on a normal hit. So his Jutsu is actually going to be 7,000 damage. Uh, that's, that's just mediocre honestly it is um but he has attack weakening for four turns good chance of hitting that you know that's what usually what happens when they have a free-to-play unit with ailments like this they lower the damage output even more so yeah that's 
it's, it's mediocre. Can't even say like it's that good. Then if we multiply his boosted damage times the you know multiplier on his ultimate, we get twenty three thousand seven hundred twenty five base damage. Okay, so this is pretty good for a free to play unit to be dishing out, even if he has five ten chakra to you know your enemy, and he also has a chance to possibly immobilize them and also attack weaken them. So for what it is, his ultimate is very good, and um, if he's also hitting uh, heart type, he's going to be doing this much damage. So 35k for free play unit, very cool, very good stuff. So yeah guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about this unit. Hey, it, it, it could have been worse honestly, I'm okay with this unit, I'm okay with how they did them. If he was 4-8 chakra, that would have been amazing, you know, but it's 5-10 and he, he's, he's okay. Like, if I had to rate him on a scale of 1 to 10, he's, uh, he, he would have been like a 5.5 or something. But since he's 28 and under, I'll give him like a solid 7, just because of that alone. Anyway, guys, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe before you go. If you did enjoy this video, peace.